hello friends welcome back in this channel and in this tutorial we will learn how to make an automatic cutting system in a fixed distance using pulse coder or encoder suppose we want to make a machine which cut a pipe over a particular distance which measure in mm and this mm is measured by the pulse uh, given by pulse coder in this program we will run a gear motor which push the pipe in forward direction and as per the motion uh, the encoder measure the pipe distance and also there is a cutter which active after achieving the distance uh, which set by the user now let i explain about its input and output x0 is used for pulse a of encoder x1 for pulse b of the same encoder x2 is for the control voltage on push button which active the control voltage that's mean enabling the power on the circuit x3 is to enable the gear motor uh, this is the push button uh, x6 is the stop push button uh, which stop the whole circuit and x7 is the limit switch for the in cutting point and similarly you can see the outputs of plc now let's move toward the main plc program i'm using here m1000 bit as a normal open contact point and x6 for the emergency stop m6 uh, that's for the extension for any hmi x2 this is the control voltage on switch i used here x2 because x0 and x1 are already engaged in uh, pulse coder input here we can see y0 output will enable after pressing this control voltage x2 and this enable the counter c246 and this counting value uh, mean preset value will be stored in d10 and you can see here is some arithmetical operation double multiply uh, so here first we put a value on hmi in d110 address this will multiply by 10 and this feed to the d10 value now in the next letter step you can see the operation for activation of y1 that is for the gear motor this gear motor output will enable after pressing this x3 switch and uh, here is the condition uh, which uh, disable the output at the zero position of the counter as the gear motor is set in this step here the, in the next step we reset the gear motor whenever need to cutting the uh, pipe we reset the gear motor and in the next step you can see to active the uh, cutting uh, cutting tool but here we took a time delay by using a timer this timer prevent the enabling of cutter during the gear motor run now at finally we have to reset all the enabled output and thus here is the final step for this program in which uh, all the steps are resetted by this limit switch uh, you can see on the next video there uh, so there is the limit switch which reset all these outputs which was enabled so here is the x7 which is for limit switch and this x7 uh, that's when limit switch is pressed after enabling the cutter get down when the pipe is completely cut it at that condition it's activated uh, so that's all about the program which mentioned here and uh, maybe there is some little modification done because of uh, safety concern and uh, now let's begin to download this program on plc okay before to download we should check the communication from the com manager so you can find com manager at downside from here we have to enable the com manager open and uh, you can auto detect your device or you can add here I make auto detect and wait for the feedback if there is a successfully added it will show here detecting is successful 
that's when now we can communicate with our device plc but still we have to confirm from here communication from the tool so drive one is already set here okay that's mean now we can uh, download the program on plc okay so for the practical i am not using here any simulator uh, rather i am using a plc device hardware device so on the side of the screen you can see here how i can communicate and uh, the program is transferring now okay now we will go in online mode And here you can see on the side screen the all setup for this uh, practical purpose. Uh, here I am using a PLC, uh, some NONC switch, uh, relay for the output and uh, this relay enable the contactor. This first uh, left contactor is uh, for control voltage on and uh, mid one is for motor on and the last one for cutter on. Here are the switches. And here is the limit switch for X7. These relay control the contactors. They are Y0, Y1 and Y2. The bottom one first switch is for X2. Let me enable the control voltage. So Y0, the first contact, you can see the blinking LED is glowing there in the relay and uh, let me put the preset value this is feed on d110 data register so let put any value here after feed the preset value i start the x3 uh, push button which enable the motor gear motor and now let me start uh, let me rotate this uh, encoder Simultaneously, you can see the increasing value on counter. As soon as the counting value is set on preset value, it enable the timer which is stop this uh, gear motor and after some particular time of period, it will start the uh, cutter. So friends, hope you like this video and if you like, please share, comment and subscribe. If you have any inquiry, you can ask on the comment bar. Thank you and see you on the next video.